So this is the last section right here that I had to do this morning. The uh, starboard side um, bow piece. Got just got it a uh, epoxied in um, on the inside as well as the Thexo. Using this Thexo and then thicken epoxy five to one. This is the last section on this side, so it's got a cure, a little cure overnight, and then moving back. So this is the, the stringer that's in on the starboard side. And then hopping over, I got the port side in yesterday. I still have to come in and sand it and then tab it. And it will, uh, it'll get some uh, structural putty around it as well as tabbing it in top and bottom on uh, each side. I'm gonna put a, a section of 1708 over these connection pieces as well. Overall, it turned out pretty well. That's the first set of stringers I've ever laid down myself, so that was pretty cool. Um, thank the good Lord it's done and it turned out pretty decent. Um, I still have a little bit more work to do. There's going to be on the outside, there's going to be a, um, a stringer out here, which the deck is going to come across and lay down. So I'm going to have to put another stringer out here. This one should be a little bit easier since it's going to get just epoxy direct to this and then I'll glass it in. But it's also going to strengthen the, the hole as well. So pretty excited to get that done. But overall, thank the good Lord it is complete. I've got these two stringers in, let them cure, and then we'll uh, we'll start sanding and cleaning it up. And uh, then I'll start tabbing in. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take and lay my uh, cap. I've got my cap off. I'm gonna re-sand this down a little bit. I've got my cap over on the table. And then I'm gonna take and start epoxying it as well. So that way you can go ahead and get epoxy down and cured and then ready for glass on it. So just kind of working on, trying to do as much as I can one step at a time, but kind of working on sections that I can work on, so. But uh, thank the good Lord, it's coming together. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. There's, a lot of this is new to me, so I'm learning as I go. Uh, hopefully you'll learn something as well. Thanks and have a great day. Well, it's official. I have my uh, two main stringers in, and as well as the uh, cap for the stern over the back of the uh, back of the boat is in. It still needs to be glass, but everything is epoxied. So this is a huge win. Pretty excited. It's been a little while coming, and uh, after waiting on supplies and things like that, finally coming together. But uh, it's uh, definitely in. I'll give you a look um, of the stringers, and I'll let you take a look at this. So this is the uh, starboard side. I got my uh, stringers epoxied in. Still have to tab them, but the uh, epoxy is set pretty good and uh, they're rock solid, like rock solid. Very pleased the way it turned out. And then this is the uh, starboard side of the cap that I have glassed in, or uh, epoxied, I'm sorry, epoxied in. I still have to glass it. It'll have glass and um, covering this uh, Kuza board and then this will get this gap right here will get filled with uh, structural putty and then the last layer that I'm going to put on this will actually be an epoxy layer of fiberglass um, before I uh, finish it for paint it'll be rock solid but I uh, it's turned out really well and then this is moving on to the port side same thing on this side that thing ain't going nowhere and then my stringers
all the way to the bow. Overall, turned out really well. I'm very excited to finally have those in. Um, it was kind of a, a bigger project, probably one of the bigger fiberglass and, and um, structural projects that I've ever done on a boat. So it's pretty rewarding to see it come together. Very thankful and uh, thank the good Lord for that for sure. Um, the next portion that I have to work on our next like, um, you know, like portion of this project is the outside stringers. I'll show you right here. So I'm going to put a stringer along the outside. You know, it will be a, a kuza board, one inch kuza board, and it's going to be epoxy to the uh, side of the hole on both sides. And then from there, then I'll put in my ribs where the kind of the old ribs used to go in. I'm going to add some ribs. And I'm also going to move some ribs around and and it will it had five on each side I'm actually going to have more than that when it's said and done, but I'm going to have my uh, fuel tank Will go from from basically right here to about right in there where the other one well actually from here to about there um, It'll be 96 inches long versus the 52 inches long That it really originally had so it's uh, 102 gallons for each side um, and I'll um, hopefully have those in maybe three or four weeks um there was like a six week turnaround on those um and that's it and then once i get the other stringers in on both sides uh and the ribs in then i can start working on the deck so she's so actually could come to come together pretty quick uh but just one step at a time glassing glassing things as i go i uh i did talk to kuza there in alabama the the, the guys that make the 26 uh, blue water or Blue Water 26 that we that I'm using. I ordered mine from Boat Outfitters as a distributor, um, but this is like the best you know composite board that you can get. And I I told them what I was doing and how I you know I, I layered it with glass, and they said it, it's like stronger than steel, so uh, I shouldn't have any issues. Um, the deck is going to get uh, three layers of glass on top and two layers on the bottom, and it's a half inch kuza, so it's going to be pretty pretty solid. So I'm pretty excited to start laying that as well. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, I appreciate you watching and follow along. It's been a blessing for sure. And learning a lot as I go and uh, just taking my time with it. Um, I have this season off. It's been a blessing to hang out with my, with my children and uh, kind of hang out and get to do more with them. I did get to fish this morning, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, I've just been fishing just a little bit on the side. But uh I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching and y'all have a great day and God bless.